Ron oh, said the young man um, didn't see anything because it was dark. He said Ron was fixing to hand him his flashlight so that he could shine it around and look and see if he could find anything. But before he could even put his flashlight in for the young man, uh, he got scared and left. And I think the last thing Ron knew, he, he went to Jordan and he never saw him again. Y ahora una pregunta que creo que, que todo el mundo que está pendiente de este tema está esperando. Eh, dijo Ron, el momento en que el arca saldría a la luz, ¿en qué fecha y por quién saldría a la luz? When the arc will be shown. The, Ron said that, that uh, the time of the Sunday law, when the Sunday law comes, with the Ten Commandments. Mark of the Beast. The angel in the cave said that when the mark, the, actually the angel in the cave said when the Sunday, Sunday law, law is enforced, then the Ten Commandments will be shown Ron to the said world. The angel said Sunday law, he said Mark so we're Mark. waiting for the Sunday law and we're waiting for the Sunday law to be enforced. That would be a penalty, would be instituted. And that's the time when the Ten Commandments will come out. The videotape of Ron removing the Ten Commandments out of the Ark will also come out. We're hoping that video of the blood testing being done will also be on that tape. Um, and we're hoping the lab report will also come out. We don't know who's going to bring it out. Someone said that Ron told them that an angel was going to bring them out. Whether that's true, we don't know. It's not been confirmed. But God is in control of it. And in his timing, it will be shown to the world. and will be a testimony to everyone. Because everyone on earth will be judged. The living will be judged of every religion. And everyone will have to confess their sins in Jesus' name and start obeying the Ten Commandments in order to be saved. That's everyone of every religion. So God has this incredible evidence prepared to show everyone on earth because you're going to either receive the mark of the beast or the seal of God. In order to receive the seal of God, you've got to be obeying the Ten Commandments through faith in Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And so God has this incredible evidence ready to show the world. Esto eh, sabemos que Helen White lo escribe en sus citas, que se va a mostrar el arca en el cielo, eh, se abrirá el cielo, veremos el arca con los mandamientos, mostrándose el cuarto mandamiento, mandamiento brillando especialmente, pero también hay citas donde, eh, como bien dice Kevin, eh, parece ser que se va a mostrar el arca que está aún en la cueva. Esto es muy interesante porque realmente es marcar, como bien dice, el momento de decisión de cada ser humano que esté sobre la tierra, sobre la marca de la bestia. Pero, ¿esto también lo dijo Ron? ¿O os lo sabemos solo por Helen White? Oh, the, Ten the Ten Commandments. Mrs. White said that when the spurious Sabbath is set up, the Ten Commandments that Moses put in the ark will be shown to the world as a testimony against the spurious Sabbath. And so it's those Ten Commandments that Ron removed from the ark that will be shown to the world. Mrs. White speaks of another set of Ten Commandments, perhaps the Ten Commandments from heaven, I don't know, they'll be shown in the sky. That's the original set that may be shown after that, maybe after the close of probation, we don't know. But they the Ten Commandments are going to be shown, and someone has to find them for them to be shown. And that man was Ron Wyatt. Bueno, básicamente, uh, me interesa saber si Ron dijo también esto, o solo lo sabemos por Helen White, que el arca saldrá a la luz uh, en estos momentos sobre la disputa entre sábado y domingo. Dad said that the Ten Commandments would be shown, not the Ark. He's recorded on video stating that he thought that the Ark may stay where it is forever as a testimony to the sacrifice that Jesus made for our sins so that we could live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll probably see it on video. We'll see it on video and we'll see the blood testing and we'll see the Ten Commandments themselves. But Ron said, like Michelle said, that it, 
it'll stay in that cave perhaps permanently. And he said it could be incorporated into the new temple here on, on earth and where the 144,000 can enter. And they will be able to see the blood that they talked about when they gave the loud cry to planet earth, asking people to give their hearts to the Lord. They will be able to see that very blood that they were trying to plead with the world you know, to give their hearts to Jesus. And so they, that'll be a privilege to them, this evidence of the atoning sacrifice that will be preserved forever there in the basement of the temple or some way or another. Um, so in effect, Ron was like a high priest that was allowed to go into that cave and bring out a report to the world of what God has done. We don't need a second witness. The high priest in Moses' day was believed. He came out with a testimony. And so Ron's credibility was established with all these four other major discoveries. And when he says that he saw this in the cave, we should believe him. That's the most logical thing is to believe his testimony and not doubt it. They'll at least see it on video and it'll be shown around the world. That's why we have technology today. God has allowed this technology to develop, such as television, satellite, because he's going to force all this information across the airwaves. People will see video of the Ark of the Covenant. They'll see the Ten Commandments perhaps in person as it tours around the world. But God's preparing this as a witness. We don't have to necessarily see the Ark of the Covenant in person, but the Ten Commandments will be a testimony to the world, and the, the blood of Jesus will validate those Ten Commandments. It'll be totally unique. And that will validate all the discoveries, that blood. And people will say, who's this man on video we see in the cave with the Ark of the Covenant? Well, that's Ron Wyatt. What else did he work on? Well, he worked on Noah's Ark, Red Sea Crossing, Mount Sinai, Sodom, and Gomorrah. So everything Ron touched will be validated through this evidence coming out in the last days. And so God has this as a tremendous witness to show planet Earth. O sea, que el arca no saldrá a luz, serán solo los diez mandamientos. That's what we that's what we believe. Sí. We'll see it on video, like I said. Sí. They keep talking about the actual arc coming out. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. The actual arc itself is not going to come out, as far as we know. Uh, tengo entendido también de que él dijo de que la Shekinah, la gloria de Dios, aún se manifiesta sobre el propiciatorio. Is that right? Yes. Yes, he said the blood, the blood is, the, oh, the Shekinah. The Shekinah glory no. is no longer there. No, he the, said it's, no. no, he said it is not. It's there. not. Vale. Hay algo que quieran añadir que crean que es interesante que conozcamos? I was going to tell you about the, uh, his description of where the ark rests in the cave is setting against a crystal rock. And when you shine a light, it's got a rainbow that goes across it. And uh, what's interesting to me about it being set underneath a crystal rock is, when I was a child, I used to have one of those little bitty crystal radios where you would take a needle, and if you were close to a radio station, you could stick a needle in that crystal rock, and you could hear music or talking through your needle as it stuck in the rock. So I think my personal feeling about that is with that arc setting underneath that crystal rock, that crystal absorbs all these radio uh, sound waves that they're trying to shoot down into the ground to find the arc. It absorbs it so they can't even see it. <laughs> 